Coming to know Jesus is not easy. It takes strength. It takes faith. It takes trust. Uh, it takes courage to not do the things that everybody else is doing, especially young people today, especially older people that always have to have their hand held to do anything, always have to get permission from somebody else. If you're going to follow Jesus, you got to follow Jesus yourself. There is so much going on in society uh, where everybody wants to have their hand held and do things in groups. You will not find Jesus Christ walking on that path. You will find Jesus Christ on the narrow path, not the groups that are on their way to hell, not in the churches, because churches are fornicators. They're fornicating with sinners and with pastors. They are not really abiding in truth with Jesus Christ. They are not making disciples. They are leading people to hell and especially church people. They're leading the church people to hell. But if you want to be strong and get to know Christ, if you want to be saved in the kingdom of God, then you have to stand up and stand out to walk with Jesus alone. You have to walk alone to find Christ. People like me, I make testimonies because I found Jesus Christ when, after I got serious, when after I had horrible things happen in my life. I decided to change. And so I did. I got to know Jesus Christ. And he loves me, he cares for me. He guides me every single day of my life. Yes, I regret the bad things that I've done. Going like in different directions, not necessarily directions that other people have gone, but directions that I thought were good for me. They were not. And I suffered tremendous pain. I basically became a Satan worshiper in six months. I, I basically had all these demons go inside of me and Jesus was nowhere to be found. I have testimonies of these, of these things that happened. And when I couldn't take it any longer, I cried out to God. I was serious. I had to get these demons out and I cried. I cried to the Lord Jesus Christ, and Jesus saved me. We have to go through tribulation ourselves, and we have to find him. We cannot enter heaven with sin in our life, dear friends. You have to get serious. Get sin out of your life. Stop doing evil, because evil will not inherit the kingdom of God. Evil is cast out into the abyss. Darkness is cast out. There is nothing evil that will ever be accepted in heaven. Repent of your sins and find Jesus Christ before it is forever too late. Stop doing your sin. Throw it out. And also the people that are helping you to sin, throw them out of your life. Don't listen to them. Follow the Lord Jesus Christ. Follow him alone. Be strong. Be trusting of God. Trust God more than anyone, dear friends.